Just have somebody ice foam, get them all set, ready to go. It takes a fighter with a sharp pair of shears to cut through the world of floral design. You have these? They're working on the shoes? And in an industry built largely on century-old traditions, Jane Carroll has a reputation for being sharper than most. Jane, we got to spread these guys out. She brings a sense of fashion to floral design. I can make anything out of flowers. She's built her empire by thinking outside of the box, by using a box, and making it in a world she could never have predicted. I would thought she would have followed my father's footsteps and become a steam fitter. Jane Carroll is one tough gal. I would truly say the only manure in her life is what she uses with her plants. With one incredible story about making her way to the very top. Jane Carroll is here with some of her beautiful, beautiful, let's get behind those beautiful okay. creations. I'm so glad to meet you in person because when I first saw what you did, I was so impressed. And I just And virtually her. overnight, a flower designer to the stars was born. Halle Berry was our first celebrity that contacted us. She started calling, and then she kept calling and calling and calling. She gave my name to Angela Bassett, and it just kept snowballing. From newspaper and magazine articles to television appearances, the word on Jane was getting out fast. And her clients include Michael J. Fox, Halle Berry, Calvin Klein, Samuel Jackson, Meredith Vieira, <laughs> and her business grosses over $1 million a year. How did she do it? How can you do it? Here's Jane to tell us. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Jane. <laughs> Thank you. Once you receive something that's been done by Jane, you want to spread the word. And I found her just an amazing, amazingly inspirational woman. Now, celebrity floral designer Jane Carroll brings her star power and floral artistry to television. This is Flower Wars. It's Project Runway meets The Apprentice in this ultimate battle of the blooms. Jane Carroll, a little Tim Gunn, and a lot of Trump, brings on her Bronx brass to this reality series. I hired, you know, freelance designers from the city, like big, you know, considered big wigs, and I was new to the industry, so I kind of relied on them. They, they're all bullshit. Aspiring floral artists compete for a chance to break into this high-end, multi-billion dollar industry. Each week, raw, talented designers are put to the task and one is eliminated from the competition after exhibiting their work in front of Jane and her panel of discerning judges. And absolutely nothing is off limits. Wearable art, culinary influences, accessories, sculptures, and edible arrangements are just a few of the challenges our contestants will be faced with. Not to mention the race against time, budget, fragile inventory, and finicky clients. The business of flowers is far from pretty. Flowers, they're not your mama's flowers anymore. Let the War of the Roses begin. <laughs>